Hello and welcome back to my high performance dojo. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master App. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some helpful tips for detoxifying your mind. Now you and I need to get on the same page with one thing before we even start this video. And that is the understanding that everything is energy. Everything is energy. Our thoughts are energy, our emotions are energy, our bodies are made up of energy. This camera that I'm shooting this video on, that's just made of energy. Everything in our universe is energy. So if we know everything is energy, then we have to know that energy exists in everything that we put in our bodies. So the thoughts that I have, the emotions I have, the people that I have in my life, the food that I eat, the water I drink, the lotion I put on my body, everything has energy. Some energy is better than other energy. So in this video, I'm gonna take you step by step on figuring out what energy you're currently consuming that is serving you and keep that going. And then we're gonna find out the energy that is not serving you so you can start the detoxification process. All right, so there is no magic pill for detoxification. I'm sorry, but there isn't. Like everything else you're gonna learn on this channel, I'm gonna actually give you the tools to change your life, but you can't just take a pill to do it. You're gonna to have to actually take some action or stop taking some actions that aren't serving you. And what you need to understand is that if you have bad health right now, or you are constantly experiencing negative emotional experiences, it's because you are consuming a lot of negative energy. And so that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna help you transition from having negative health or negative feelings or negative results or negative people in your life to having positive results and positive health and good health and great people who are positive in your life. And this can all happen by feeding your body the nourishing energy that it needs. So I wanna help you feel and perform your best. So here are the four steps to detoxifying your mind. Step number one, remove toxic people and environments from your life. And I understand if you're in a workplace and you have someone who's negative, that may be something that you can't necessarily control. But what I want you to do is not focus on what you can't control, instead focus on all the things you can control. So let's just do a little flashback to Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich book, where he talks about the five people you spend the most time with. Think about those people right now. Are those five people, the sum of them, are they positive, uplifting? Are they ambitious? Are they in alignment with the type of life that you wanna lead? Are they constantly throwing off positive energy so when you spend time with them, you feel more positive, you feel more nourished? If not, you may wanna consider changing your inner circle. The reason being is because it's not only bad vibes, which is actually scientifically proven to affect you, we actually have energy receptors on our skin that pick up that energy from people. And I'll get into how that works in later videos. So you're consuming that negative energy. And then beyond that, those negative actions and habits those people have are also rubbing off on you. If you're spending time with people and environments that have negative habits, whether it's smoking cigarettes or overeating or gossiping or doubting yourselves and talking negative about people. If you're around that all the time, you just are gonna fall into place. That's what humans do. We're constantly creating our own reality many times based off the reality that surrounds us. And so if those people have negative habits, you're gonna to start to take on those negative habits. But if you create a new circle with positive people with positive habits, you'll start to take on those as well. So step number one is change the people and environment that are not serving you, detoxify yourself from negative people and environments. Step number two is remove negative thoughts. Now this may seem like a really ambitious step to take, but I promise you, it's a process. And the first day, it's gonna feel difficult, it's gonna feel like a strain, you're gonna be like, there's too many negative thoughts. Over time, you're gonna gain control of your mind and you're gonna be able to do this. So one of the best ways to start to gain control of your mind is just by sitting in the observer seat. So when you're walking around, when you're living your life, when you're doing whatever you do, start to notice what thoughts come in. When you start judging someone, stop that thought, observe it, acknowledge it, and then say, you know what? That's not a positive thought. And then think the opposite. So if you look at someone and be like, oh, that person's so lazy. Be like, you know what? I see that person has a potential to really be ambitious and I really hope that from, I'm gonna send them lots of love. And I know this seems hard, right? Because when you see people in the world who aren't doing necessarily positive things, it's your natural reaction to want to meet that negativity with more negativity. But you end up owning that negativity. So when you have negative thoughts and emotions, even if someone else is bringing it into your world, 
You need to understand that you always can control your inner experience. You can always control your own mind. And so you need to make a deliberate choice to observe the thoughts and emotions that are coming out for you and change them and start to have thoughts that actually serve you. And so one of the best ways to do this is actually going and checking out my Unleash Your Full Potential playlist where I help you rewrite your beliefs. And you want beliefs that serve you, beliefs that align you with positivity. So I'll be honest, before I got deep into this stuff, I used to have beliefs that people were fucks. Sorry, I just saw a lot of bad things in the world. I watched the news. I see a lot of bad things happen and that was just my experience. And so sometimes I would witness people doing fuck things. And so once I was able to change that belief to people are kind, what do you know? I started getting all these people who are treating me kindly and I started having all these wonderful, more positive experiences. So our beliefs do create a reality and they all start with the thoughts that we're constantly having. So step into that observer position and start to change your thoughts, starting with the smallest ones. You can do the best you can starting today and over time, it'll get easier and easier. If you want a helpful tool to help you start to change your thoughts right now, go download my app. It's available for iPhones and Androids, and that app will take you through a free seven-day guided meditation experience that will start to transform your mind and the way you think. You'll start to go from feeling more anxious, depressed, stressed, to more peaceful, present, and optimistic. And all you have to do is just listen to those meditations. It's not a lot of work, and they just start off at five minutes a day. So definitely go click that link and download the app and check it out if you haven't already. Again, it's free, and it's, uh, it's my app. It's the B app. It's very helpful. All right, moving on. Step three, remove toxic substances from your body and your life. Now, we are constantly consuming things, and if we agree that everything is energy, then whatever we're consuming is having an effect on our body's energy, and so the way we feel. So we're talking about everything you put in your body. Let's start with just some of the obvious ones, right? So if you're gonna be taking in lots of drugs and alcohol consistently, well, it may be hard to create a stable, peaceful mood. I personally realized that I had a really bad habit where I would constantly start my day with a cup of coffee, just get that energy buzz going, so I go, woo! And then I ride that wave for a little bit, and then I get a little bit burnt out or feel a little overwhelmed at some point in the day, and then I'd smoke some weed and be like, all right, now I'm gonna chill out. But that's not a very good way to achieve that equanimity, that state of consistent, peaceful energy. And so what I did was I removed these things. And I'm not saying that drinking coffee or smoking weed is bad because, you know, I, I do both these things once in a while. But on a consistent basis, like Monday through Friday, uh, I'm not doing these things because I want my more consistent energy. I want to be able to control the energy. And so I detoxified my body from these substances. And so you have to decide for yourself what you're currently consuming, what is serving you, and what isn't. I'm not here to be the authoritarian figure that says don't do this or don't do that because I don't believe that coffee's bad. I don't believe that weed's bad. I don't believe that almost anything is bad inherently in itself. I believe that these things are tools that can serve us if we use them correctly. So get clear on what substances you're putting in your body and make sure you're only taking in the ones that serve your highest potential. And that's up for you to decide. And even beyond just those kind of substances, let's talk about food and water intake and things of that sort. If you're eating highly processed foods, of course, that energy is gonna be going in your body. It's not gonna be the best for your microbiome. It's not gonna make you feel as good. So it's all affecting your energy. So as much as you can, try to eat mostly whole foods. So foods from the earth, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, beans, things of that sort, meat that has been sustainably raised. Make sure that if you're eating meat, you're doing it from sustainably raised meat because if an animal is living its whole life in a small little area and it's constantly stressed out and it doesn't get to have any experience of positivity its whole life and then it's just killed as soon as it's old enough, that negative energy is gonna go into your body. So I don't think it's bad to eat meat. I think we've been doing it as human beings for thousands and thousands of years. I think that it's a, a normal part of the human experience. But if you're gonna do so, do it like we used to do it, right? Like if you can't go hunting and get your own meat, then try to get meat that is sustainably raised because that energy is what you're consuming. So always keep that in mind. And also water. I live in Los Angeles. The water is really shitty here. So I go and get water that's highly filtered. It's, it's alkaline water. It's supposed to be better than what I'm consuming here. So I'm taking the small steps in my life. And so I'm just taking all this stuff that I've experienced to be really helpful for me. And I'm sharing it with you. Everything that you put in your body 
make sure it's serving your highest interest. Now, step number four is something I hinted on earlier in this video, and that is identifying your beliefs and changing the ones that aren't serving you. So you need to detoxify yourself from those negative beliefs. Like I had that negative belief that people are fucked. So I had to detoxify myself from that, let go of that belief, and then create a new belief that served me. So I created a whole playlist to help you with this process. I'll link it up in the corner of the screen right now. It's called Unleash Your Full Potential. And this playlist I created because I realized in my own life that the beliefs that I had were not serving my highest interest. And when I was able to change those and align them with my goals and my ambitions in life, I began to live a better life. Everything flowed easier to me. My income became easier. It became easier to have healthy habits. I had more positive people in my life. I had a more positive experience. I just felt happier consistently. And at the end of the day, we all know that's what's most important. So you need to change your beliefs if you wanna change your thoughts ultimately. So if you wanna help with that, definitely check out that playlist. I've said this in videos before. I'm gonna to continue to say this over and over again. If you're watching this channel, I really hope that you and I are on the same page. We create our own reality. We have to take responsibility for everything, the good and the bad. When you have happy experiences and you feel good, you should own that and say, I created this. When you have negative experiences and you feel bad, you gotta own that too and figure out where that's stemming from. And a lot of this detoxification that I talked about in this video is gonna help you change that. The same thing goes for your behavior. When you take positive behaviors, you have to own all those. When you take negative behaviors, you need to own that. The same thing goes for the people you're feeling attracted to that you're bringing into your life and the people who are just coming into your life organically. You have to take responsibility for all of this. You are the creator of your own reality. Your beliefs, your thoughts, your emotions, your actions are all the things that create your reality. So a huge step you can take today is follow these four steps to detoxify your mind of all this negativity and you'll begin to experience a more positive and happy experience. All right, that's it for this video. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master App. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, drop any comments or questions below and I'll be sure to answer those. If you wanna get in contact with me, you can always hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at Zen Master App or, you know, I'm all over the internet. So hit me up, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.